are featuring one of the many weird plants that can be found in a greenhouse, namely a Stapelia lirandetsii, a South African species of Stapeliid. There's various common names for this plant, uh, ranging from carrion flower, starfish flower, and bell flower. This plant is native to localized regions in South Africa, so it's not very common in the wild and occurs in widely scattered remote populations. So this plant is weird for a number of reasons, the largest being its flower shape, color, and scent. So it is pollinated by carrion flies, blow flies, flesh flies, things like that. So to help attract its pollinators, it produces a rotten meat scent. So one of the most interesting aspects of this plant is its scent. So in 2010, scientists did a study on it and discovered that this particular flower produces 31 different chemical compounds, most of which contain sulfur. So this plant brings a number of interesting aspects to our collection. Um, one, it does highlight pollinator plant relationships in that it attracts carrion flies and has the scent to attract them. It also highlights genetic diversity and biodiversity in wild habitats. Since this is a relatively rare species in the wild, it's important to be able to conserve this outside of its habitat in case something happens to it in the wild. So this plant is actually fairly common in cultivation and can be grown as a house plant very easily. It is a succulent, so it doesn't need much water. It comes from mountainous, arid regions in South Africa, so it doesn't like a lot of uh, water or sunlight, just very bright desert-like conditions. So generally very easy to grow and also easy to propagate. So it propagates very well from cuttings. You can just break a piece off, put it in the soil, and you'll grow a new plant. So I think I'm drawn to these bird plants just because they are so different and elicit such varying responses from visitors to the greenhouse. Uh, it's always fun to watch people's expressions when they encounter a plant like this. Um, some people are automatically drawn to it. It's just so unusual, so different that they just want to learn more about it. Other people take one whiff and immediately walk away. <laughs> so, like I said, this is the first plant in our series, so we'll be talking about more weird, unusual plants in our greenhouse collection. So some of them will have interesting plant pollinator relationships with other insects, other animals. Some will be unique growth habits, uh, different foliage forms, unique adaptations. So we'll be talking about things like tapeworm plants, about ant plants, and things like that.